Hi, I am Giselle Marie Establiso from BSN2D and I am your student nurse for today. Hi everyone! So in this video, I will be performing Ballard Scale to a Newborn. So a Ballard Scale is a technique usually used to determine the gestational age of a newborn if the newborn is premature, mature, or postmature. So, this assign a score to various criteria and the sum of which is extrapolated as the gestational age of the fetus. So, this scoring allows the healthcare provider to estimate the age of the newborn ranging from 20 to 44 weeks of gestation. So, Bollard scoring is divided into two criteria which are the neuromuscular maturity which depends mainly upon muscle tone active or passive, flexion and extension, and the other one is physical maturity that rely on anatomical changes in the skin, eyes, ears, genitalia, lanugo, plantar surface creases, and breast tissue. So in this procedure, we're going to need our forms, paper to take some notes, pen, and clean gloves for our PP. So now we're here on the baby's crib and we are going to verify the baby's name. First, let us look for the baby's identification tag which is usually located on the wrist or on the ankle. So let's check. So, okay, Migi Bayo, born on May 1, 2021. So, okay, we have the right patient. Muscular maturity has six different criteria. First is the posture. Natural position of a mature baby should be flexed because extensive extremities is an indication of prematurity. So now let's check the posture of the baby if he is extensive or flexed. Second is the square window, which assesses the flexibility of the wrist. The wrist of mature baby should be bended up to the baby's arm because if not, it is another indication of prematurity in the newborn. Next is the arm recoil, which assesses the flexor tone of biceps muscle. If, ma if a mature baby's arm is pulled or extended, it should recall back to its original flexed arm position. Another one is the popliteal angle maneuver, which assesses maturation of positive flexor tone about knee joint by testing for resistance to extension of lower extremities. So we should need a resistance. Next is scarf sign which measures the elbow's positive flexor when doing scarf signs to a mature baby, the healthcare provider conducting the assessment should meet resistance. If not, it is an indication of prematurity. So we should meet a resistance. Here. Last is the heel to ear which assesses the hip flexibility and impact. In bending the knee of the baby, just like in scarf sign, the healthcare provider should meet a resistance. So, the heel should not touch the ear of the baby. After the assessment, the information gathered should be recorded in the Ballard scoring sheet. Physical maturity, which includes skin, whereas the 
skin of a premature baby is sticky and transparent, while in mature baby, skin is thicker. In a post-mature baby, skin is leathery and wrinkled. So, we should observe the skin of the baby. Next is lanugo, which are fine hairs normally found very little on mature babies. While in premature baby, lanugo is abundant, and in extremely premature baby, there is no lanugo seen at all. So let's observe the lanugo of the baby. In assessing the plantar surface, there should be creases on the soles of both feet of mature baby. So let's check. Assessing the breast tissue, there should be 5 to 10 mm areola in a mature neonate. In assessing the eyes and ears, eyes should be opened easily in mature infants, while in the ear, pina should return to its original form when bended in a mature baby. Lastly, in assessing the genitalia, in mature male baby, the nurse should observe a pendulous scrotum and little wrinkles on the testicles. In mature female baby, the, clitor the clitoris should not be prominent and should be covered by labia majora, majora and labia minora.